Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of spiritual talk show. Broadcast on FM radio, internet websites, and print publications. I am well known for that celebrity interview. Interviews that we conduct in studio, by telephone, and by satellite with today's most fascinating people. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you on ValderBeebeShow.com. Hi, Joy DeBaker. I love that title. How are you? Very good, Valder. How are you? I'm fine. My audience, I want you to know that Joy DeBaker is the award-winning food blogger, and she's here to give us some tips for sweet success in the kitchen and sharing holiday baking hotline. What do you got for us today, Joy? Goodness, I'm already in the kitchen making Christmas cookies. Can you believe that? No, I can't wait. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm your perfect audience, and I'm sure my audience is. Good. It's, it's it's, it's a great time of year, and, and you can indulge a little. What are you making? Well, I feel like it is a great time of year, but it can also be a little bit of a stressful time of year. So I'm making these Christmas cookies now because I want to be able to put them in the freezer and bake them off whenever I have them ready. So what I'm starting with is Crisco All Vegetable Shortening in a bowl with granulated sugar and cardamom spice. Now what I'm making is cardamom spice stained glass cookies. They are absolutely delicious. They are sugar cookies spiced with a stained glass center that's made out of candy. And Ooh. yes, so the trick with these cookies is to mix the cardamom spice in with the Crisco shortening and the granulated sugar. And let me tell you what that does. It disperses the flavor of the spice throughout the cookie, making them super fragrant, super delicious. That, does, that is a, uh, an aroma that you love to smell in your house. It is. Absolutely. And you can use any spice you have on hand. If you don't have cardamom or you don't like it, you can throw in some cinnamon or nutmeg. And adding the spice with the shortening will really help it disperse through the cookie more than if you used dry ingredients. Okay. You're making me hungry, so <laughs> go on. <laughs> well... I, so while I am stocking up on these cookies for cookie swaps and to give them to neighbors, I'm also making a cranberry coffee cake. I call it Christmas morning coffee cake. And what it is, is a streusel coffee cake filled with fresh cranberries and fresh orange juice. And what's great about it is that I can make it ahead and wrap it well, store it in the freezer. It stores for about a month or so, and I can take it out on Christmas morning and have fresh cake. Is it like a scone or is it a cake? It's like, it's a pound cake that you slice thick, serve with warm coffee. It's absolutely delicious. Okay, you're making some great things, but is there anything we need to have in our pantry, these must have? Well, before, you know, absolutely. Before you even start baking, before you get in the kitchen and bust out the mixer and the bowls, you need to make sure that your pantry is well stocked, right? You don't want to get halfway through a recipe and realize that you don't have chocolate chips or walnuts. So in my pantry, for me, that looks like having lots of flour on hand. I have brown sugar and granulated sugar. I make sure that I buy fresh, um, fresh baking soda and baking powder because we don't want the old stuff and have our cookies be flat. And then I also have loads of Crisco All Vegetable Shortening and the Butter Flavor Shortening in my pantry too. And what's great about that is that it's vegan friendly and also it stores in the pantry, keeps for a long time, and you don't have to worry about taking up fridge space. Okay, that sounds good. So how do you ha find out if you've got, if you don't have a favorite holiday recipe, where could you have one from? Oh, all sorts of recipes and inspiration. All the holiday stuff you need at Crisco.com and at JoyTheBaker.com. I like that, Joy. Thank you so much. And you can send those cookies directly to my studio. <laughs> I promise you I'll eat them. I'll send them right over. Happy holidays. 
Joy the Baker. Thank you for joining us and talking something good. I really appreciate it. Have a good one.